We're here with uh, James Oram, and if you don't know who he is, he rides for One Pro. <laughs> Still got them on. One Pro Cycling. Okay, good morning, guys. It's like 6.45 in the morning. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm up this early, but I'm going to a race. Go watch and help out a team. Um, a friend of mine started up his own team to help develop young riders here in Christchurch or in Canterbury. And so he's put together a team himself where he and the other elite riders will help the younger guys in the elite races. So he's coming to pick me up now. He'll be here any minute. Um, and then we're going to head off to the race and I'm going to record it. I'm going to introduce you to the team. I'm going to show you the stuff. And we'll talk to him. We'll interview a few guys. It'll be great. So uh, until then, uh, I'm going to go sleep in the car. Please don't film my failures. <laughs> and oh my gosh. Now you literally... This is sort of professionalism you can't teach. Well, I mean, you can, but very few people actually pick up on it. Now, look at this young man. Well, he's actually older than me, but anyway. He has got his rice ready to rock. While driving. <laughs> Efficiency max. We have arrived at the destination. The race start. We've just set up the tents and everything's looking great. And Manama said for a small team, everything's looking pretty, pretty professional. And for a team that was put together two weeks ago, Yeah. Hi parents. Oh no, Camel I'm his Pepe. partner. Nice. <laughs> so it's a freaking early morning start. Um, got no sleep last night, so I'm gonna go get myself a coffee. Gonna be running on fumes today. But um, yeah, it should be good. Uh, start off the day with a good old coffee. So let's get this started. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, everyone remembers Rion. Uh, Give me photos, Gucci, Gucci, baby, Gucci, Gucci, <laughs> five G's on that shit, baby, yay, yeah, yay, yeah. Gucci, baby, yay. Yeah. Oh yeah, everyone. Bonjour, s'il vous plaît, ah, señorita. <laughs> so Rion is helping Richard with this project of helping the young riders over there. Boom. So tell me, are there and the very important sponsors? Boom. Which we're very thankful. For. Also, Nigel Thompson Motor Company, great family. Okay. And so. the hub, what's up? <laughs> Oakley. Bam, <laughs> shouty. <laughs> okay, so Rion, tell us. What is the game plan today? Full game plan is to pretty much uh, see what everyone else is doing, but basically to help get this, especially Liam, his first elite race with uh, with the big dogs pretty much. And uh, But also we want to take the under 19 jersey away for Campbell or Bailey. So we've got two little sneaky wee devils there. They're pretty strong riders, eh? They've got a lot of depth for the age and they've got like a lot of power. So um, we're basically here to support them really. So what is your inspiration to why you started this team? Uh, I don't know, I just like, I just help like helping young people to be honest, eh, bro? And I like, I just see so much talent, and I reckon people give up before the miracles happen. So if we can wrap around them, get around them, and keep trying to push them through, um, especially this elite scene, and maybe they can go to the NRS, maybe go to France, um, you know, stuff like that. That's what we want to do. Try and keep pushing them, keep pushing them before they give up and go. Oh, it's too hard. When really it's just that you have bad days, you have good days. Do you know what I mean? Mate, hey, everyone. What are you doing? <laughs> He's had too much coffee. <laughs> everyone, this man is an absolute inspiration to everyone. And My he, man. And he's a bit of, he's very friendly as you can tell. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, he's a very inspirational person. He's been through a lot himself. And I mean, just listen to him. He's here to help everyone. So I think it's a good team environment. And today's going to be a great day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have Richard Lawson, the man of the mission. The man who's um, organized everything, started up the team. Richie. What was your inspiration to start the team? That's a, a bloody good question to start out with there, Kevin. Um, basically to, to help the, the younger guys out and to, to give them an opportunity to, to perform and get some results with, um, with some experienced guys that have just basically done the same thing. So, you know, it, it's sort of fresh on my mind because five years ago I was in the same situation these guys are in. So, um, basically want to help them out and make sure they don't make the same mistakes that I did. That sounds like a pretty fair idea. What's your game plan today, sir? Oh, you'll find out in a minute. With the young boys. So this is Bailey O'Donnell, Campbell's Pithy, 
Okay, boys, tell me how you're feeling today. Oh, all right, a bit cold, a bit wet, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, First yeah. race. And um, you're in a learning experience here, you're going to learn from the big boys. Yeah, listen. hopefully. Got some pretty fast riders with me today, so show me what to do and stuff, help me out. We good? Yeah, no, sounds good. And you, Campbell? Oh, I'm feeling excited, looking forward to it, but we'll see once we get out there how it goes. What's the race plan? What, a, what is a little little lightweight like you think of the big steep hills? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a challenge with some of these bigger boys in the field, but we'll get over it alright, I hope. Yeah. Mate, you're the most likely going to get over those hills the easiest. There is nothing of this guy. He's like 40 kilos. He's not really, but, but we'll just say he's 40 kilos to psych everyone out. It's all a mind game, boys. All a mind game. Liam Morris. Here's another young lad in the North Stevens Markham's development team. Liam, how do you feel today, young man? Nervous. Nervous? Yeah. Is this your first big race? Uh, yeah, proper one. So you got you got you get yourself a good young, good group of guys helping you out. Are you excited? Yeah. You excited to learn, take away from these opportunity to race again? Yeah, that will be the main thing I think. Learning. So. Mate, there's a good quote. You never lose, you either win or you learn. Yeah. Just a Young man, popping up his own tyres, what a professional. What a professional, do my own mechanics. <laughs> This is like my third mom. And I'm very really sorry, but I might have eaten the chocolate that you gave for Francis for her birthday. I slipped up. <laughs> I didn't eat all of them. I only ate one box. And it was in two little tiny little chocolates. And I just, it's like... Are you filming me? Filming you? Hey? I am. to get that shot in the car here with Miles. Miles O'Donnell. Going around a 40, Miles O'Donnell, that's the one. Going around a 45k corner a bit fast. It's okay. The police will never know. It's your narrow road. First victim of the day. Lap one, providing uh, the goods. Boys in for Kaggle. Oh, Jace, big Jace. Jason, if you're watching, I sympathize with you, man. Uh, <laughs> This is my kind of racing. This is going to be a brutal race. What a great race to start off the season. What a great race to first start filming. To bring you guys backstage to what is a pretty exciting race on a beautiful course. On a pretty average day to be honest. So I met you at the feed zone with the team feeder, Connor. We were teaching him how to feed. It's, first, it's his so first time. Yeah. My first road race event, cycle event. Uh, yeah. no, I've been to a couple, but I haven't been trusted with bottles before. Connor, you've got an interesting story. Rion has helped this man a lot. Yeah. You want to do, would you like to share some? Is that, is that well, I've got the paper in the car if you want to see it. it. <laughs> you can read it. The naughty little boy, and now I'm doing a bike race next week, and uh, yeah, hopefully it's helping. So Rion's helped this young man a lot. Um, and you know, and he's coming to help out the race as well. So 
Everything about this team is just good vibes and everything's going great. Mm. And we're teaching him how to feed now. He's been entrusted with bottles, so this will be interesting. So I'll film that. I'll be the Hopefully manager by next race, though. Oh, next race is manager. Easy, easy. How are you, Keegan? Do you want to shake my hand? Yeah. <laughs> Putting that on your vlog. Do you want to be in the vlog? Oh, yeah? Do you have to go stand on the road and lick the floor? <laughs> 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 He did. What a man. He's gonna feature in the vlog. That's probably the most dirtiest thing I've ever done. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> We're here with uh, James Oram, and if you don't know who he is, he rides for One Pro. Still got them on. One Pro Cycling. I um, mean, you just finished the race. How was that, James? Uh, yeah, pretty hard. I think um, everyone wanted a, wanted a good solid race out there. Um, a little bit dangerous and negative at the start there with the, with the rain, but um, once it dried out, um, kind of the, the climb sorted everyone out. And um, yeah, it was a good day. Uh, I didn't really have the legs towards the end there and just got piped in the final few K. Um, but uh, yeah, it was cool to come down here and see what all the fuss is about. Racing with the youngsters? Yeah, yeah, hopefully try and teach them a thing or two along the way. Yeah, what are you doing when you're going, going over Europe now? Or? Uh, straight over to London for a bit of a team um, meeting, camp kind of thing, and then a uh, bit of one day race that, that Sunday after. So, kind of straight into things and then um, back over to Girona to get settled for the year. Thanks, James. Yeah. Watch my vlogs, get more people like this. Cheers, bro. Good to see you, man. Post race interview with uh, young Kevin Pithy over here. He had a bloody good race. He was in the mix. He was there at the final group at the end. That was pretty good. So we're going to ask him how things went. So Campbell, how did the day go? Oh, it was a good race. Really hard from the gun. Really, never, never really let up. Three laps in, the team got on the front road up. 10k into the climb, full gear. Myself, James Oram, Brad Evans, and Tim got away. Right across to the front group at about a minute up, and I thought that was really it. I thought we were gone. I was under 19, under 19 up the road, and just things didn't plan out. In the end, we got caught and just didn't play out for me in the end. So, congrats to the boys who got up there and scored a couple of points around 19. And uh, see you next round. There's one thing you can always take away is that you're there in the end, and although it did get tough, you're still there, and races never go to plan. Sometimes they do, and those days are good. But they no, don't always go to plan. The good thing is there's always another race. So uh, you learn from this one, you take it to the next one, that'll be a good race. So it is. The boys went very well. Um, two in the top ten. Oh, I don't know about that. I think so. We'll claim it, we'll just say two in the top ten. Check and if not, it's okay, we'll just stay in the but I'm not sure you Anyway, I was going to ride back, but uh, Dan had a hissy fit. Because it's like a highway. And my experience with vehicles. And the bike. <laughs> that was very good, so I decided I'm just going to drive back. So um, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I want to thank Richard for having me on board with the Moore, Moore Stevens Markham's development team. So uh, it was good fun, giving my little lads a lesson, giving them some inspiration. Um, and I think we got some really cool footage, so I think it was a pretty good day. Definitely. Uh, I don't think they can invite me back. I think I was very annoying. <laughs> You're always welcome around here, Keegan. Nah, uh, yeah, just saying that for the camera. I put the camera away, it's like, <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, we love you. We love you. Alright, we love you. Bye. Catch up. What was that? <laughs> Sorry, boy. Catch, catch you. Bye. Oh. <laughs>